This is Support a Sexy, episode 90, and today we're going to talk about regrets. Welcome to the Support is Sexy podcast. I'm your host, Elaine Fluker, entrepreneur, author, producer, and founder of Chic Rebellion Media. Five days a week, Monday through Friday, I talk to women entrepreneurs who share their journeys and the true stories of their wins and their lessons and give you insight and inspiration to take your business and your life to the next level. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Support is Sexy. This is Elaine. I'm so happy you're here. You know, it just would not be the same without you. And this episode would not be the same without that small snippet from Jay-Z from the 1996 album Reasonable Doubt, the song Regrets. And I'll tell you why I played that song or a portion of that song. It was because I had a conversation this evening. You know, as you all know, I am in Atlanta visiting family or have relocated to be with family, I should say, and have been having a great time really getting reacquainted with my parents who are lovely, my elderly parents, but getting reacquainted with them as far as where they are in their lives right now. We're all very close, but where they are in their lives right now. And I think they're doing the same with me and asking me questions about my life in New York and how things are going and just in general talking, having conversations, spending time as families do. If you're blessed enough to have that, hopefully you have family, friends, whoever, where you can be open with and connect with or reconnect with and have certain conversations. So one of the conversations today that came up talking to my dad, I actually honestly don't even remember the context of the full conversation. But one of the things that he asked me was, if I think over my life, which is interesting, because I sort of ask a question of my guests like this. But in any case, he asked me if I think over my life, are there any regrets that I have? Huge question. If you think over your life, are there any regrets that you have? And I answered him one of the regrets, if you will, that I mentioned is not buying a home with my friend April in Fort Greene back in 1998, Fort Greene, Brooklyn, back when some people, not all, might have been afraid to even live in Fort Greene. It's a lovely place. Of course, even now it's so expensive, but it was a lovely place back then. People just didn't realize it. In any case, that was one of the things I mentioned as a quote unquote regret. Now everything has been fine since then life goes on if I knew then what I know now I might have made a different decision but who knew so the whole conversation got me started thinking about regrets and since I'm a hip-hop fan and I'm old school happily admittedly old school I thought about the Jay-Z song from one of my favorite albums Reasonable Doubt if you've never heard the album please google it I will have a link to it in the show notes but Reasonable Doubt one of the best albums in hip hop. In any case, it got me thinking about that, got me thinking about regrets, and got me thinking about this idea of how many times have you heard people in interviews or just in conversation and someone asks them about regrets and people might say something like, I don't believe in regrets or there's no such thing as regrets or, you know, regrets are a waste of time. Now, everybody, of course, is entitled to their opinion, but I wanted to talk about I do believe in regrets. I don't think we should let them hold us back. And I'll go into more of the things about regrets that I want to share with you all today. But I don't think regrets are something that just don't exist because we say they don't exist. How you manage them, how you think about them, how you actually use them to your advantage is what's important. So that's what this episode is about, what I have learned about regrets and what I want to share with you about regrets. So one of the things about regrets is don't pretend, as I just said, that you don't have them. If you have them, you have them. Regrets, I think, are a part of life. You don't want to try to build up many, of course. You want to try to make the choices in the moment that best serve you and that benefit those around you, if possible, in every way. But there are going to be times when you do have regrets, and that's okay. You are human. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to make bad decisions. And this is in life and in your business. Of course, we're talking mostly about business, but in general, there are going to be regrets, decisions that you make that weren't the best decisions, things that you might say that may not have been the best things to say, things that you may have done to, whether intentional or not, hurt people, 
There are regrets. That's a part of life. Don't pretend you don't have them. In fact, I think it creates more guilt or shame within us when we pretend that we're not upset about or affected by some decision that we made in the past that we may have done a different way if we could have. It's there. You acknowledge it. You don't have to bring it up, hash it, and keep it in your mind all the time. But it may be something that's there that, like I said, you would have done differently. If you have regrets, you have regrets. Honestly, we all do, whether we admit it or not. The thing is, number two, you cannot let these regrets hold you back. Some of us can fall into that trap of, and I have done this from time to time, it's almost like the regret keeps you from moving forward to even possibly correct that thing that you made a mistake in doing or the decision or whatever that is. We get so caught up in the current regret that we can't move forward and make something better or make a better decision now, or as uh, Zara Green, who was a guest on our show, says, make your next decision better. Don't get caught up on your past decisions make your next decision better. And as I said, don't let that regret hold you back. Don't get caught up in the guilt of it. Don't get caught up in feeling like you failed or the failure of it. And maybe it was a failure, whatever you did, that's a part of your regret. But don't let that stop you from changing your mind. If you stay stuck in one place, you will never move forward. Don't let that stop you from changing your path, doing something better the next time. Now that you have more information, now that you have the learning of that mistake, you can make a different decision as long as you continue to move forward. If you stay stuck in one spot and you don't move, the regret has a hold of you. And that is what we don't want. We want you to move forward beyond that decision in the past that may have gotten you off track. Move forward and you can make another decision for another day. Also, you cannot beat yourself up about a decision you would have made differently if you knew then what you know now. How many of us say that? I regret or even if we don't admit the regret, but we talk about if I had only known fill in the blank, I would have done this differently. Well, who wouldn't? That's, I think, the case for almost everybody. If you knew differently, you would have done differently. That would be the case for everybody. As we get older, we get wiser, or we get more experience, or we have the failures that we learn from, of course we would have done things differently if we knew better. My thing is, you cannot beat yourself up about something you would have done differently if you had known. How would you know? You don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know. So you cannot beat yourself up about a decision you made based on the information you had at the time. Now, I admit that I have done things like I should have done more research on that. That might be true because maybe I didn't know. I should have done more research and then I would have known. There's that. But it's not healthy for you to beat yourself up because you made a decision based on the information that you had at that time, based on the knowledge that you had, based on the wisdom, based on the resources that you had at that time. If you had more information, if you had more resources, if you had more wisdom or more knowledge, you would have done things differently. But you cannot beat yourself up about that. As you know, no beat ups around here. We don't allow it. No beat ups. Another thing about regrets is don't get caught up in the fantasy of what could have been if you made a different decision. I don't know if I've shared this story on here, but I know I was um, interviewed. This was maybe this was over 10 years ago to work with a big uh, music executive who has this hip hop label. Well, it's, it's all kinds of music, but this big label. And at the time it was even bigger for music than it is now. Now it's known for so many other things, the company overall. But in any case, I had interviewed, I was working in magazines and I interviewed for a um, chief of staff position is what it was. And I had gone through the process and I interviewed with three or four different people. And I had the final interview with this person is, who was and still is a huge personality. It went very well. I was very relaxed. I don't know if it was because I, I wanted the position, but I wasn't pressed about it because I had another position in publishing. So it was fine. I was recommended for this job. In any case, went through the process and I was meeting with the HR woman because this person wanted to hire me. And I'll tell you what that would have meant for my life. It would have been crazy for sure, but it would have meant traveling around the world, meeting tons of uh, very influential people, both in entertainment and all other industries. It, it could have been, it would have been quite an adventure. I'll say that. But in having the conversation with this woman in human resources who was lovely and who meant well, and I, I think did save me from some things. In any case, having a conversation with her, one of the things she said to me was, this person is like a radio that never turns off. 
And that really stuck with me. And for that reason, I did not take the position. Now, I think she intentionally was trying not to get me to take the position, not because she didn't like me. I think it was actually because she did like me and she thought this person either may have been a little bit too much to handle or it may have ended up with me walking out. I'm sure she had her own reasons. But when she said that, it really hit me. Okay, maybe this isn't right for me. And I stayed in publishing. I went on. I worked in digital media and and my career continued and everything has been fine. And here I am doing this with you, still in media and still having a ball. But there are those times when I talk about it, when I have conversations with people about it, or when I share the story that I don't regret it, but I have this idea of what would life have been like if I had taken that job? Maybe there would have been this, maybe there would have been that. But you know what all that is? Fantasy. Because I don't know. Who knows? And there is no point in me regretting that decision then based on the fantasy of what could have been. Now, there are some things that I can figure might have been great, traveling and that kind of thing. But you know what? I actually know someone who did take that position, the one that I didn't take. This person interviewed later and ended up taking that position. And that person would disappear for months at a time. Friends wouldn't hear from this person because they would be traveling, but they would also be super stressed and all of those things. So there's always a reason that things work out the way that they do. Usually it's for our own good. Even if things go wrong, it's for our own learning. Like they say, things aren't happening to you. They're happening for you. So that's an example. Don't get caught up in the fantasy of what might have been if you had made a different decision. You never know what could have happened. The fantasy could be totally wrong. It could have ended up a lot worse than wherever you are now. Be okay with your decision that, you know what? Again, like we said, going back to the other point. You made the best decision that you could with the information you had at the time. For me, knowing how I was, who I was as a person, what I wanted to achieve in my career at that time, I guess I was in my early 30s, maybe late 20s, not sure. But at that time, it wasn't a time of maybe if I were, say, just getting out of college and doing that and running around and being a crazy person, especially to be in entertainment and the music industry may have been fun. I was becoming more settled then, and at that time, based on who I was and the information from the woman who was protecting me, I made that decision. Forget the fantasy. You know, and another thing about regrets is that you can add them to your, what I'm calling, your arsenal of wisdom. So when you have regrets, it's usually because, as we said, you've made some decision, or maybe there's been some failure or a mistake, but it's a mistake, a failure that you can learn from. So as they say, win some, learn some. Think of that regret as something you put in your arsenal, like, okay, I know I didn't like that decision, or I regret that I made this person feel this way, or I regret doing whatever it is that way. I regret not learning so-and-so before then. I'll make sure that I do this again making a better decision next time. Put it in your chest of wisdom that you now have to move forward. It is not something that's building up as a burden on your back. You are going to use it instead as a tool, not to beat yourself up, not to get caught up in the fantasy, not to think of what you would have done if you had known better. You are going to use this as wisdom in order to move forward. And another thing I'll say about regrets is, you know, in addition to it going into your arsenal of wisdom, if you get another day, you get another chance. If you're here today and you're here tomorrow, you get another day and another chance to make a different decision. Don't think life ends with that failure, unless that failure was fatal, of course. But don't think life ends with that bad decision. Don't think you can't come out of whatever you're going through right now. Don't think that it doesn't get better. Don't think that you can't get the resources or find the people or make the connections or learn what you need to or all of those things just because you made one or more than one bad decision, just because you messed up in some way, you didn't learn what you needed to. Another day, another chance to get it right. In fact, that's part of my prayer of gratitude. Thank you for another day and another chance to get it right. So you have to be grateful, actually, for every lesson that you learn, every failure you experience, every win, every lesson. Be grateful for them because they are all there to teach us something. And again, if you get another day, you get another chance to get it right. It's not another day to beat yourself up and be miserable about this regret. Take a little time to mourn the decision if you need to, but then move on because you're here, you're alive, you got another day to do it a different way. And the last thing I'll say about regrets is 
focus on moving forward. You're here. You did whatever you did in the past. That's all in the rearview mirror. Do not look back. You can only glance in the rearview once or twice. But for the most part, you have to look forward. Focus on the next step. What's going to be the thing that moves you forward as of today? Focus on moving forward. Regrets are things of the past. We put them in our little chest, slide them under the bed. They're there. And then we move forward with different understanding about the things we want to do, who we want to be, how we want to accomplish things, all the lessons that we learn. We put that to good use and move forward. So thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know what you think. You can email me, Elaine at ElaineFluker.com, or you can contact me across social media at Elaine Fluker if that's easier. I know everybody communicates on social media now. To also see um, previous episodes of Support is Sexy, go to Support is Sexy Podcast.com. Again, Support is Sexy Podcast.com. You can also subscribe to our email list so you don't miss an episode or any updates on what we're up to. Also, check out the free resources on how to make brave decisions. Maybe I'll do one about regrets or getting past regrets. Hmm. Let me know what you think about that. In any case, you can get free resources there. Right now, it's an audio training on how to make brave decisions. There will be other ones to come because people seem to really have enjoyed it. Truly want to be here to support you all from a business standpoint with information and personal experiences and talking about things like this getting past regrets, which is a real part of business, building your business, getting past failure. There's going to be these things or moments or low points that we all have. I certainly have them. There are things that I'm getting past or decisions that I'm thinking about doing things differently. How do I make this different moving forward? How do I make a better decision for another day? So again, thank you all so much for listening. I truly, truly appreciate you. So for now, you know what to do. Go out there and create something sexy, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.